<sighs> Welcome to a very random vlog. First off, I'm gonna give you a warning. If you don't like chatty vlogs and like update kind of vlogs, um, you're probably not gonna like this video because I literally just have like a mental list of things that I could update you on, chat about, random things, kind of boring things, some not so boring things. I don't know, I have no idea what this is gonna turn into, but I literally have no plans today. I'm gonna be out for tomorrow and Thursday, so I'm having a day at home. I'm just gonna be editing stuff, filming, working out, um, just doing like a chill day at home kind of thing. It's actually already midday. I had kind of a lazy morning watching some of my favorite YouTube videos. I had my coffee. I'm in my gym gear now. I'm getting ready to do a at home workout. I did two big workouts at the gym the last two days. Yesterday I did a class called Legs, Bums, and Tums. So my butt is not working today. <laughs> it's on fire. And then the day before that I did like shoulders and arm stuff class. So everything's pretty sore, but I kind of just want to do something, um, especially because I'm going to be at home and editing. Just sitting plugging away for the day so some movement is good any kind of movement the most exciting thing that is happening in the next few days is that i am flying home back to canada for a visit with family friends and most of all for my best friends hendu as they say over here her stay get we're going to be going up to whistler bc if you're familiar with that area it is very very beautiful we've we're staying up there for the whole weekend and we've got lots of things planned i can't say anything because she is an avid watcher of my videos, but uh, <laughs> it should be fun. I'm flying home about a week before then, a week and a half before then, just to make sure I really get over my jet lag because that's going to be a big weekend. But besides, aside from that, I cannot wait to see family. I cannot wait to see the little puppy. I'm gonna be back with mom, living at mom's house for two and a half weeks. So I'm gonna have a little puppy scratch at my door each morning, which I miss desperately. My puppy fever is still out of control. My sister is now living in Vancouver, so I'm gonna have a sleepover with her. We're gonna be going down to the family cabin. I'll definitely be vlogging some of that. Yeah, both Ken and I are pretty homesick right now. Neither of us have been home since before Christmas here. This is the last time we were home. There was still snow on the ground. I think it was like December 29th. I think we flew so it's been a long time since I've been on home ground I originally was supposed to go much earlier in the year, but timing just didn't work out We had quite a few visitors that it was easier for them to come to us than for me to go home Unfortunately, Ken is obviously working all summer, so he is not going to be joining me, but um, Yeah, he's very very jealous <laughs> The homesickness kind of cranked up a little bit this weekend too because especially now that we're in the summer month months we're missing a lot that's going on back home we're in that time of phase of life where all our friends are getting married and having babies and moving houses and all that so every weekend there's a stag or a wedding or an event of some kind and we love getting all the updates and everything if anybody's watching please send all the updates and pictures and stuff to us but it does make us like oh we wish we were back home. We feel like we're missing out. We're also experiencing a lot over here too. We're doing we're doing something kind of cool. Not that not many people get to experience moving all over the world uh, for a year. <laughs> Aside from the staget, I am definitely most excited about spending a weekend down at the family cabin. It's just the most peaceful place. It's a little. It's not even that little. <laughs> it's like a. It's a large property with a bunch of different campsites on it. There's like a pool and a hot tub, tennis courts, events always happening down there. It's definitely glamping. It's a large trailer with like a full kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, two TVs, fireplace. It was definitely glamping, but it's just so relaxing. A beer. I swear, a beer tastes better when you're out in the woods and next to a fireplace. It's gonna be so nice to spend some good quality time with mom. So definitely keep an eye out for those vlogs. Those are coming soon. Oh, I can't wait. I actually just put up a blog post yesterday showing um, what I wear when I'm down at the cabin. So it's not my usual kind of glamorous, girly kind of post. It's definitely something very, very different. Um, but it's basically f sharing five different camping outfits. Like semi put together camping outfits that aren't just like sweats kind of casual summer outfits, I guess. My blog link is down below. I'll link that blog post down there. Okay, I think that's enough blabbering for now. I'm gonna set you up somewhere and try to capture some of my workout. Again, it's nothing intense. I'm not a professional at all. I'm probably gonna do this all wrong actually because I'm quite sore, but 
I'll just do like a little time lapse of what I'm actually doing. I'm just gonna set up my laptop on the coffee table, watch some of my YouTube videos, distract me, and I figure that doing something is better than nothing. So even if I do a few jumping jacks and some sit-ups, at least I did something, right? <laughs> you can see it as much now but my sensitive skin it's all blotchy and like purple it always happens when I work out anyways I'm all washed up washed my hair today toned it for any blondes out there if you don't tone your hair you should it'll save you from getting back to the salon for probably a good few weeks to get your color back and make it look a little more alive the only tip I have for that is I actually have a couple tips. Buy a purple shampoo that is very pigmented, really, really purple. Like my last one, we had a white um, shower curtain in our Vancouver apartment and it was stained purple because the, pur the shampoo was that intense. And two, leave it in your hair for a few minutes. Not too long because your hair will turn purple if you have a really good purple shampoo, but um, leave it in for a few minutes and it'll turn your hair from like really yellow and brassy to a nice pale blonde again. That is the hair tip for today. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup, do my makeup. All I've put on is eyelash, make a wish. I've already put on a little bit of concealer under my eyes and here and here. I'm gonna do an in between my naked face and a real face just because I'm vlogging today. If I wasn't vlogging today, I'd probably just do no makeup, but I don't really like looking back on that footage. So I'm gonna put a little makeup on. My brows are tinted at the moment, so I don't need to deal with those. Mascara, the my usual L'Oreal Double Extend, the two ends. Do the white coat, wait a few minutes, do the black coat. I feel like my little plant here makes such a difference in this corner. When you first come in through the, the door, you see flowers, flowers, and a plant here. We actually had a viewing yesterday. Lucky us. <laughs> our last place was up for sale, so we were organizing our lives around having strange people come through our house, and sure enough, this one goes up for sale as soon as we move in too. So we had another viewing yesterday that I had to be home for. And um, it was a young girl, probably younger than us, I would think, looking at it. And the real estate agent came in. He was like, wow, this place looks different. It looks good. <laughs> I think he was quite pleased because the young girl that was looking, she was like, oh, it's so cute. I love the, the flowers here. I love this, I love that. So I basically staged the place for him. Ken was like, we should get a cut at his commission. <laughs> Not actually, but um, I think he was kind of like, nice, thanks. Because it definitely looks like it's had a woman's touch in here now. I think I helped him a little bit. What else has been going on? Oh, I've been watching a lot of Love Island. <laughs> it's a big show over here in the UK. If you follow any UK um, social, pe social media people, you probably know what Love Island is. It's basically like... Um, the UK's version of Bachelor in Paradise. Similar idea, but it's not as good. <laughs> I started on the first season. It's quite dramatic. It's interesting, that's for sure. It's something. It's funny though, because 
their accents are from all over the UK. I actually couldn't understand what they were saying, especially the one girl, Hannah, Hannah and John. I don't know where she's from actually, but her accent was so strong that I was watching it with subtitles on. And even the subtitles, they weren't quite correct as to what she was saying. It was quite funny. Now that I've been watching, I think I'm in like 12, 12 episodes now. I can actually understand what she's saying now, but it took me a good while to figure it out. That is one strong accent wherever she is from. I always get mascara up here. Never fails. I'm trying really hard not to open my mouth right now. Oh, there we go. Just did it. I'm starving after coffee this morning and then a workout. We don't really have any real food. We basically keep the house stocked for one because Ken's almost never here right now. So I just keep like snack stuff around and I just nibble throughout the day. So I think we're gonna have a really random lunch like hummus, crackers, cheese, some veg, and some strawberries in there. Blush and then I think I'm done. I have got my fingers crossed that Ken is not gonna be working a crazy schedule this weekend um, because it's our one year wedding anniversary. Isn't that mental? My God, we've been married a whole year together for 13, I think, 13 years now? Must be 13. Yeah, that's crazy. A year just went by like a flash, especially when you're living a crazy life like we are right now. It's all just flown right by. So we're hoping if he doesn't have to work too much on the weekend, we will get over to the Bermondsey Beer Market. Someone recommended that to me, so thank you very much if that was you. And after that, we're gonna go to dinner somewhere. We haven't decided where yet. We're gonna ask our friends here in London because they know all the good spots. Um, but we're not sure if we're gonna make a reservation just because we don't really know if Ken's gonna be available or not. So we're kind of keeping loose plans for our first year anniversary, but fingers crossed there will be something. And then of course, lots of beer. But that's part of the reason that I am not flying out until next week because I obviously wanted to be here with my husband for our first year anniversary. So yeah, I was gonna attempt to curl my hair today because it didn't seem quite as warm out as it has been. But now the sun is coming out again. I can feel the sweat starting already. So I might just leave it straight for now. I might curl it later, I don't know, we'll see. For now, let's go get some lunch. Okay, random lunch. This fridge is very sad looking. I do have an avocado though. Cheese, hummus, raspberries, defrosting some chicken for tonight. I think I'm just gonna have a bit of everything. A little update on the healthy eating too. Um, I'm doing pretty good, although I had pasta yesterday, that wasn't so good, but, but definitely no drinking during the week. I've been so good with that, even when watching Love Island, which is not easy, and I'm watching The Bachelorette tonight, so a glass of wine tastes really good when you're watching Bachelorette. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it, saving it for the weekend. I did buy a blender off Amazon, which I think is worth sharing. It's this one. It is the Breville. I'll link it down below if I can still find the link to it. This thing is Awesome, I think I paid like 15 pounds for it and it is well worth it. It comes with two of these little bottles with the little heads that you can use to take to go with you. Where are they? These, so you can make up your smoothie, take it on the go and it blitzes frozen fruit, ice, um, blends up my protein powder really easily. This is the stuff I've been using the naked way. It's good for lactose intolerance because they put lactate in it. Apparently it hasn't bothered my stomach at all. So that's what I've been doing like before workouts, after workouts, as like a meal replacement even in the afternoon or if I'm just hungry in the afternoon, I'll make one. If you just do um, the protein powder, ice, banana, and almond milk, it's kind of like, it tastes like ice cream to me. I mean, I haven't had real ice cream in many, many years because I'm allergic to it. It kind of tastes like what I remember ice cream being like, so. But if you're looking for a new blender, that's a good one. It's almost like I'm still living in France. It's like a little makeshift cheese plate. <laughs> Strawberries, water crackers, dried mango, cheese, and some hummus. And this will keep me full for now. I'll probably have a small smoothie or something in a little bit. Several hours later, sitting here, I've been editing what I filmed already this morning. I cannot see what I'm looking at, it's so bright out. I've got my MacBook propped up because she's an old girl. She overheats a lot, so she needs extra air from down below. 
I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. I finally got changed. I was wearing my robe for most of the day, if I'm honest. I did get changed into some real clothes. It's a really simple, inexpensive romper. I'm kind of obsessed with this thing right now. It's from Shein.com. I can't remember how much it was, but I want to say like 15 bucks US. Um, but it's a really awesome fabric. Did I say romper? I meant jumpsuit. It's like a collot style jumpsuit. jumpsuit. Sits nicely at the waist up here. Really simple spaghetti strap. And then it has pockets. Ridiculously comfy though, I could sleep in this easily. And then I just have my new ASOS little slide shoes on. My Misoma necklace, Daniel Wellington watch. You saw me do my makeup and the hair is still straight, keeping it comfy for a day at the computer. Now, exciting stuff. I'm gonna take out the recycling, take out the garbage, and I have a package to pick up, which is from ASOS. So that actually could be interesting. <laughs> Did the vlog even really happen if there is not an ASOS bag in it? There's three items here, but they're all the same thing in all different sizes. They're just kind of like a relaxed fit, very high waist, um, really small at the waist, straight legged white denim. I'm gonna try them on. I think I actually like them. They are super tight, a really nice thick denim, straight leg, very high waisted. Tight on the bum, very tight. I just threw my pajama top on so you can see what they look like without being topless. But these are the 26, which I wouldn't normally think that I would fit in a 26. I would normally be probably a 27. I like them, but do I need another white pair of jeans? I do love that straight leg. I'm gonna think on it. editing up to this point and this video is already way too long so I think I'm gonna cut it off here there's nothing else too exciting happening anyways um, I'm cooking chicken for dinner and then I'm gonna watch some Love Island so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope I didn't bore you to death for the last 15 17 minutes I would love it if you subscribed you can subscribe subscribe just below this video and follow along with my blog as well which is also linked down below make sure you check out my latest blog post the five camping casual kind of summer outfits blog post if you have time i would love it um and instagram as always at andrea claire and i'll see you in the next one bye